Hello again YouTube. I wanted to show you just another sample of the uh, autofocus fine tune issue on the Nikon D7000. What I've done here is taken just a couple of shots of my daughter and I've used the Nikon 18 to 105 zoom lens. In each case I focused on her left eye, that's the right of the picture. And in this first one what you can see is the result without any autofocus fine tune. Now if you look at the eye itself you'll see that the eyelashes are not perfectly crisp and clear. But if you look to the right of the image, where she has hair near her ear, you'll see that that is actually sharp, and that's behind her eye. It's beyond the point of focus. So this is back focusing. So once again, this is done without any uh, compensation dialed in, and you can see the result. Now, if we switch to the uh, next example, which is where I've dialed in the autofocus fine tune that I'd previously tested, you can instantly see just how sharp the image is. The eye is crisp and clear, the eyelashes are in perfect focus, and if you look closely you'll see that the hair to the right near her ear is actually slightly out of focus, which is how it should be. At that kind of distance with this kind of uh, lighting, the depth of field is very limited. If you're not sure what depth of field is, have a look at one of the other videos where I explain the concept. But the depth of field is limited, which means that only the item being focused on will be truly sharp, or should be truly sharp. And in this case, as you can see, uh, the eye and the eyelashes are very, very sharp. It's an extremely good lens, a very good result in terms of sharpness. So let me just show you the two images side by side so that you can just see exactly how much difference it makes. We're talking about perhaps uh, an inch difference in terms of focusing but because of limited depth of field and at this kind of distance you get a very very big difference in terms of the focus and as you can see now the left hand image is the one without autofocus fine tune and the right hand image has autofocus fine tune there's a tremendous difference in the sharpness now it would be nice if you didn't have to do this on the Nikon D7000 or any of the other models but that the reality we do have to do it so at least once you know how to do it which you can see in my other video then you can correct any problems that you have with the focusing and particularly with images of people you really do want the eyes to be absolutely sharp because otherwise it just looks wrong in the photo okay thanks for watching and why not subscribe see you again bye now